see your lucky swallow hard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, village with the dumpling dudes. Welcome to our table. I'm Mike. And she. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Today we have our pride video. We know pride month is dang near over, but we have been waiting for this amazing dumpling pride collection to come out from the one and only dumpling dudes. Yay. We are so excited. We're gonna link up the first video of dumplings that we did for them. Um so guys, I'm so excited. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell so you get alerts every time I go live or post another amazing video like this one. And hit the thumbs up. Lucky is under Ooh. the table. And guys, we have our pride shirts. We have our on. pride shirts. I want to give everyone a free mom hug. A free mom hug. I'm going to start with you. I love you. Okay, so Woo. we have it in order. So the purple and blue are ginger chicken with Napa cabbage. The green and yellow is kimchi bacon cheeseburger with bulgogi sauce. The orange and red are traditional. Traditional. Tradish. Uh, so it, it's deli it's pork, leek, and shiitake mushroom. Oh, and he said this is his best. These are their best sellers. Yeah. So these three are their best sellers out of Look, all. I'm the gonna bring it close. Woo! Love my pioneer woman plate. Okay, so first we're gonna try is ginger chicken with Napa cabbage. And we have our sweet and sour sauce. Sweet and sour. Are all four of these that? Yeah. Okay. So for each one, so these two and these. So two. this one is purple. Yes. No, wait. Yes, that's purple. Yes, yeah. that's purple. This is what? Uh, ginger chicken and Napa cabbage. Ooh. Mm. Mmm. I hope I cooked them long enough. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna. Try, I'm gonna try it without. We should have tried it out without first. Oh. You can really taste the ginger. It's good. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna eat them all. Okay. So next we have. Oh. Kimchi bacon cheeseburger with pagogi sauce. <laughs> Look, aren't they just so cute? Oh, this one's green. No, this is, yeah, green. Mm. Ooh, uh, cheeseburger? Uh huh. Kimchi bacon cheeseburger with pagogi sauce. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> Did you hear Lucky swallow hard? Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, we're gonna have to replay that. Mm -mm. What the freak just happened? He just stole her he dumpling. Stole dumpling. Well, Lucky approved. My hair's got whiplash. I don't even know what happened. Mmm. Well, hold on. Mmm. You can definitely see the bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, so good. Ah! Mm. So this one is the Tradish Delish Pork Leek and Shiitake Mushroom Dumplings. I don't like mushrooms, so... But you like, like shiitake dumplings. mushrooms. No, I don't. It's the ones that I don't like those. Oh, okay. Um you should you should try it without this stuff. Oh well first. too late. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I like it. Ooh. Mm -mm. Yeah. You don't like it? That was not my favorite. Cause I the like these. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can have the shiitake. These are good though. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, right. One, two, three. Mm. 
Really? Yeah. My favorite is a cheeseburger. Then the ginger chicken and shiitake is the last one. Oh, look, we didn't even show inside. Show some insides. That's the cheeseburger one, right? Mm -hmm. This is the one with the shiitake mushroom. I don't like it. Mm. And the leek. I don't think I've ever had a leek before. This is my first time. Maybe that's what you're tasting. Because I don't even taste the mushroom. I'm tasting the mushrooms. I think it's the leek you taste. Wow. Thank you. Y'all, we inhaled that cheeseburger. Thank you, Mike and Chin. Mm -hmm. These are the bomb. So it was really cool. Went to go pick it up. We'll post some pictures of us picking up. Mm -hmm. Um, We got to hear a little bit of their story. Their story. And we talked a little. And it was, we cried a little. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And they turned us on to, it's the Montrose Center. Mm -hmm. And they do, um, they help with the elderly and also children um, kids who either have gotten kicked out or ran away because their parents put them out um, because they came out to their parents or their parents found out. So we're gonna so we're gonna uh, work definitely with Mike and Chen on any um, thing, any projects that they have in the future. But we're also we're gonna reach out to them and see if we can help um, with any kind of volunteer. Uh, things or see if there's uh, just see how we can help because it's hard enough to come out and then it's got to be even more tough to not have family to fall back on so um I definitely want to help any way I can <laughs> oh Lucky says don't cry give us a thumbs up <laughs> for Lucky Actually, he probably is waiting for us to bring some food his way. So no, bad. sir. He ate and the last cheese. The cool that. thing about the dumpling dudes, y'all, is that they're donating fifty percent of all the profits um, that they made from all of these pride um, yeah. dumplings yeah. to the Montrose Center. And I'm not exactly sure what the name. Look how he's trying to get closer. He likes the dumpling. <gasps> Look, dumpling no. dudes. He likes dumplings. Look they at do, like, him. Dog dumpling. No, they're too good to give to the dog. That's true. Look, I, I'm giving out free mom hugs. I just want to hug everybody and be there for anybody who needs it. Um, Y'all, I don't care what Sierra does in life. I'm going to be by your side no matter what. I'm always going to be there. Stop. See, Lucky will too. I'm down with you forever. No matter what choices you make, no matter what you decide to do in your life, who you decide to do it with, I'm down with you forever. I'm stuck to you like glue. I love you like fat kids love cake. Like I love crawfish? Like you love crawfish is even a better example. Because y'all know this girl loves her some crawfish. Some crawfish. Well, even though today is actually the 50th day, so the 50th anniversary day, right? We are posting this Monday, but the oh. day that we are filming this is Sunday, June 28th. June 28th marks 51 years of the Stonewall Riots. So the Stonewall Riot is also called the Stonewall Uprising. It began in, in early in the morning, June 28th, 1969. Mm -hmm. When I was born. We weren't born in June, but... Well, yeah. And it happened when New York City police raided the Stonewall Inn. It's a gay club. The riot, the raid sparked a riot amongst bar patrons and neighbor residents as police roughly hauled employees and patrons out of the bar, leading to six days of protests and violent clashes with law enforcement yeah. outside the bar on Christopher Ooh. Street. Cool. Yeah. And so that basically was the the monument of monumental monumental movement of Pride. Gay rights. Yeah. And yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, and let me just say that uh -uh. riots didn't start uh -uh. with brown and black people or even with gay people. Riots started a long time and it was started by white folks. You know, the the Boston Tea Party. Um, yeah. So, know your history. 
don't blame riots and protesting on brown and black people or the LGBTQ plus community because it was started by a bunch of white men back in the day. Okay. I, I'm dropping the mic. I don't want to drop it too hard because I want to use this later. Yeah. I'm dropping the mic. Boom. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Mike and Chin. And guys, we try to be as non how we feel because we try to say platonic. But on the other hand, neutral. Boom. Switzerland. <laughs> but on the other hand, in the world we are living in right now, people who have a voice should use their yes. voice. Yes. At and y'all, we, we're not against anybody. No. We will stand against mm. any it, <laughs> any we will stand against any injustice, regardless of your ethnicity, your gender, your social economic background, your sexual orientation, your political party. It don't it doesn't matter to us. If there is an injustice, we're gonna stand and fight with you. Um, because what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And if you don't stand for something, then you'll fall for anything. So, um, spoken like a true scholar. That's just an old saying, actually. I didn't come up with it. But thank you. I appreciate it. So, anyway, we just want to tell you thank you for watching. And thank you to Mike and Chen. Yeah. And um, they're really sweet. Yeah, and definitely gonna get more when they come out. Yes, and y'all, this batch went by fast. They sold out quick. Yeah. Happy Pride! We just want to say we accept everyone in this house, and me and my mom have both. Me and my mom have both grown to understand what pride means. We've gone to know what. Yes. The true meaning of pride right. me. We have first sought to understand. And I feel like if people first seek to understand, to truly understand, then a lot of stuff that we have won't be there. <sighs> I'm going to raise my child to learn what it truly means to love unconditionally and what it truly means to accept everybody happy pride everyone happy pride. if if everybody would love each other more just think how wonderful this world would be no judgments don't judge somebody there's enough judgment in the world just focus on love acceptance more than tolerance we don't want to just tolerate each other we want to thrive together Thank you guys so much for watching our video and watching us eat. Thank you to the Dumplin' Dudes. Can you guys send us some more cheeseburger? Yeah, when are y'all going to make some more? We need more. Lucky 8 cheeseburger. We need more dumplings in our life. I want to wish you guys a happy pride. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button mm -hmm. and hit the notification bell. And hit the like button. And don't forget to watch these, these two videos. videos. Bye!